Welcome to, uh, I don't know what you would call this, a let's play? It's more of a round by round thing. Anyways, welcome to Space Station 13. I've declared ready. My name is Garrett Kiefer. And, uh, I haven't set any preferences. I've turned on all of the round antagonists except for, uh, except for Revolutionary because that's totally unfair. Anyways, I'm probably going to forget to talk a couple of times, but this is an amazing game, and uh kind of wanted to make a video of it, so let's go in like 20 seconds. There's only 13 or so players on. It's pretty nice, especially when there's an, an, uh, an extended round. It's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm the chaplain. We are going to worship... Oh, I am a chaplain traitor. Okay. Nice first round. Alright, let's change our religion to... Jesus! Space! Jesus! I want a the the uh, hmm. Give me a white bible. Hey, one second. Alright, anyways, so let's get this started. So I need to steal a chief medical officer's jumpsuit, and I need to hijack the emergency sh shuttle by escaping alone. Now, hmm, this could be a pretty hard objective for, for a chaplain. But, uh, you know, I think we'll go about it in the most direct and fastest way possible. There's no AI, no nothing, and there's only 10 or 12 players on. So, let's type in our PDA code here. 125 alpha. Hmm. And, uh, hmm. Let's get ourselves an energy crossbow and an energy sword. Now normally I'd say that this is a stupid combination blah 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 but you know there are just sometimes when you just gotta get out there kick some ass and chew some bubblegum. So let's get started with that chewing the bubblegum part. First we'll stick this scrap in the backpack. The soap is actually very very handy at some points. Anyways, you might find me not talking cuz this could be this could go really well and this could go really badly. I think we'll target the captain first. Uh when I, whenever I get a trade around, my heart always starts beating like crazy. It's awesome. Uh Doesn't look like there's an HOP. He hasn't opened his locker or anything. It's head Oh, there is an HOP. Shit. So there's a captain, an HOP, a detective, who I saw. There might be... Yep, there's a fucking warden, at least. I don't know about the HOS. Let's check our PDA, shall we? We'll lock it. And there is a head of security, a chief engineer, a head of personnel, a detective. Ouch. Okay, so this ship is basically full of baddies try that are going to try and stop me. But, um, hopefully, in the past, I have been very badass in this game. Um, if you know me, you might know me as Hill Arius. Uh, I hate to kind of be really vain about it, but I think I'm pretty well known and infamous. 
I don't know, this is going to be pretty hard. Hmm. Well, I think we'll just wander around and preach until we have a, an opportune time to do something. Actually, let's go ask the HOP for a job change, which might be a little bit more opportune. Yeah, if you, if you can't tell, if you've never seen this game before, this is where the actions happen. I just said, hey, this is the HOP over here. Fizban far space. I want a new job. Not sure what. I feel like I'm not sure what I want to ask him about. <laughs> Is there a research director? Yeah, this is a uh, a tactic for when I have nothing to say. Just read what I say. There's the barman with insulated gloves who that could be stun gloves. Tommy Jenkinson, Rochard Phillips. Asking to be a scientist. Uh, so this guy, I hate. I hate to betray him. Acted so nice, giving me a little bit of extra access along with the scientist. But you do what you gotta do. So I think I'm gonna try and cause a little tiny bit of chaos, maybe with some bombs, maybe by letting out the slimes, and uh, and then we might start murdering people, just one at a time. And then when we're discovered, hopefully we will have murdered enough to maybe clean up the rest of them. We'll see. There's the captain. It would have been nice to see him earlier, murder him in a hallway, but we've missed our chance. We can't just run off now. He's got our ID. Thank you. He wants me to turn his, my stuff into him. Okay. <laughs> that was a close one. I thought he was telling me to like turn over my clothes right then and there and since I have this e-sword and this mini energy crossbow in my backpack that could have been very or in my pockets that could have been really po problematic you cannot take off your uh, your jumpsuit without getting rid of the stuff in your pockets and throwing it on the ground so I gotta be careful stick some shit in my backpack and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna change clothes Okay, uh, where are the clothes? I'm not sure where the clothes are. It's a robotics wardrobe. Thanks, Kenny. Alrighty. Change clothes quick. Right click this, put on our jumpsuit.
and we'll put on our white shoes. Actually, I think you might no, you can't just click your backpack. That would be nice. And uh let's grab this lab coat. And the science radio headset. I think we might just bide our time a bit. If the shuttle's called prematurely, we are gonna have to go on a rampage. But for now, we'll see what we'll see how much trouble we can cause. Oh, gotta go get my chaplain's jumpsuit. And I'll run with it to the HOP. And uh Another thing we c I can do to divert sus suspicion, actually, I'll keep my PDA. I keep the Bible, I can still be faithful to Jesus, even though I don't wear a chaplain's garb. I'll go ahead and stick my PDA on the table. Uh, would be really cool if it's uh, if yeah, uh, is if I could uh, break this table with an energy sword. That'd be really nice. Cause what I would do is I'd shoot across the table with the energy crossbow, and then I'd break the table with the energy sword and kill him. Actually, you know. Let's set our target to the head. It's always a good thing to do in the early game. All right, let's head back. And we'll see. <sighs> Man. Maybe we could try and get the captain to let me into. Uh, to let me into secure storage. And when you were in there. Ah, oh, shit. The captain is wearing um, ablative armor, which can possibly reflect my mini energy crossbow, which is definitely a bad thing. This is it's not good. Hmm. No, I'm not going to make bombs. That would bring suspicion to myself. I like my hair. I made, made my hair like the slicked back orange. Looks pretty nice. But uh we'll see if we can catch the captain, ask him to let me into secure storage. No, 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 no. I know. Okay. Let's run back. Uh, we'll see what kind of access this guy gave me, as well as scientist. Is this the RD's? Nope, he didn't give me access to the RD's office. That's okay. Toxins, miscellaneous research. Um, I honestly haven't played on this station that much, so I'm not sure exactly what's in it. Okay, okay. So there's that. Let's check in cell biology. It's the airlock. I wonder, can I hit that button? Yeah, I can. Oh, shit. This, this door's gonna bolt, isn't it? No, I don't wanna go in. I don't wanna go in. Oh, there's the RD. I think he needs to be the first one to die. I think.
You know anything about slimes, man? So we'll see if we can get this guy into a corner so we can kill him. Yeah, this is always the hard part trying to get somebody alone. You need to start... See, from what I saw, there are about 13 people on the station. Let's count them again. Uh, oh, shit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people on the station. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a half, 8, six, seven threats on the station. I count the CE and the RD as one collectively because they're not that much of a threat, but they can they have the access to become a threat. Let's get out of here and see if we can get the captain to let us into that place. Cap, I gotta run after him and yell at him. Cap. Could you let me into secure storage? Man, I, I, I'm... Okay. This... Do I have maintenance access? I do not. Okay. Do I have construction? Shit. This is always the hard part. Oh. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it yet. Hmm. I always love being a traitor, though. Waiting for him to come out of there. Let's read some of the chat. Uh, face fucking dick sucker. Hold on, HOS. He hit me for no apparent reason. Captain's too smart. He wouldn't. He didn't want me to come in with him. He just said he'd get them for me. <sighs> now let's head. Let's see if we can actually put these in the deconstructive. If, if there's a destructive analyzer here, I'm not sure. Let's go in here. Is it a, yep, there is a destructive analyzer. Okay, good. And I will shove that in there. Er, sink. Wait. Uh, hmm. Device linkage. Resync. See, I'm not sure how this works. Not anymore. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Deconstruct. Proceed. Insert another disk. Deconstruct. Proceed. Current research levels. Okay, that's those. 
proto lathe. We can make an MMI, a PAI. Let's see. I swear there's a high powered battery. Up. Oh, high. Is that a high capacity? Yes, it is. I think we need to research two of these, if I'm not mistaken. Deconstruct. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. Proceed. Let's check what circuits we can make. Alright, we can make all of those. If I, man, it's been so long since I've done this. Let's see what we can make now. A floral somatoray. That's awesome. Okay. Let's grab some metal and some glass. And we'll s oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to put my glass in there. Here, here, get out of there. Get out of there. Nobody wants you in there. Come on now. There we go. Let's add uh, 10 sheets of glass. And uh, 15 sheets of metal. Cool. Let's check out what we can make again. Proto lathe. Let's make a super capacity power cell. And we'll stick it back in there. Or, huh? Okay, let's make another one. Or no, let's not. Anybody need a super capacity cell? Anyways, let's make another. Uh, I think this is how you do it. <laughs> it's not even reliable enough or broken enough. For some reason, these come out as a hundred percent power level at a hundred percent power level. That's pretty broken. I, I just made t two tw uh two cells of twenty thousand power in like seconds without recharging them or anything. Let's make one more and we'll see how this turns out. This one is zero? Huh? No. Uber capacity. Okay. Come to R and D's window, Kenny. Okay, see, you gotta make them trust ya. Okay, we need some more glass. This time we need to put it in the circuit imprinter. We'll put in 20 sheets of glass. It's in the speaker. Sulfuric acid. Let's put it all in there. Alrighty, and uh, let's make a weapons and targeting control module for the honk. I think I can stick that back in here and learn from it again. Oh yeah, yes I can. Let's check the protolate again. No, nothing. I th at least I think I learned from that. Current research levels. Data Theory Research 4. I think I can print out another one of those babies. No, 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 no. Yeah! Yes! Okay. So right now we need to print out a... No, actually, no. Well, I thought we could... Oh, man, I hope you can see my mouse. That would suck if you can't, but oh well. Let's do an AI core circuit, I think. Ah, oh, it's been so long. Let's check it. And I think we get blue space research from this. No, it's just data theory. Oh well, let's proceed. Current research levels. Data theory is level 5. 
That's good. Let's see what we can make of the proto lathe. Uh, nothing special. I'm pretty sure this is really incomplete, this uh, system. Oh, we gotta get over to chemistry now. It's genetics, genetics research. No, I can't go in there. Where is chemistry? I forget. Gotta ask him for some sulfuric acid. Some Mac Bay. Morgue. Thanks. Let's pick that large beaker up. We'll head back. Nothing wrong with doing some menial work as a crew member. Just gotta make sure they don't get me down and like strip me and find all this shit I have on me. Asking me if I uh, put a power cell through the destructive analyzer. Wasn't reliable enough. Let's keep transferring the sulfuric acid. It's full. Let us make the Gigax Central Control Module. I'm not exactly sure what that does, but let's figure out. Deconstructive Analyzer. No, just fucking data theory. Proceed. So I think we might have to get another Honk Weapons Module. Maybe? Let's check it. Honk, weapons, and targeting. Stick that baby in there. I didn't actually look at what research this gave me last time. Just fucking data theory! God damn it. Oh, that's a waste of sulfuric acid. Oh, I know. We'll go and grab... We'll see if there's any stun batons in xenobiology. And I'll grab it. Uh, I could use some weapons research. I am not trustful of this Borg. Uh, please. What is he trying to do? I do n never, never trust anything that tries to get that close to you, ever. We'll just pretend to do research, you know. We'll see how this works. Well, let's let's just go back into the the circuit thing. <sighs> let's just do a robotics control console. I see it, that 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 name sticks out with me for some reason. Data theory. Fuck. And circuit construction. Let's just let's see let's see if we can print a we if we can actually print a supercapacity power cell that uh, works enough to deconstruct. Not reliable. Broken enough. Oh, I seem to remember. You could deconstruct an analyzer, I think. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Let's check the protolith again. Oh yeah, got a mining drill, a sonic jackhammer, a mass spectrometer, optical mason scanners. That's awesome. And let's check our circuit construction menu. Still no weapons module. That's kind of disappointing. Oh man, I remember there's something else we could do. Uh, hmm. Maybe a wrench could we deconstruct? Ah, oh, solid plasma. Thanks, man. It's nice of ya. Let's stick this baby in there. Deconstructive. Ah, oh, it's just engineering. What? Whatever. I don't need a wrench. Kill it. I'm gonna regret that later. At some point, I'm gonna need that wrench, and I won't have it. Let's make this mining drill, and then we'll see what happens when we stick it back in there. Cool. Let's check the destructive analyzer, power manipulation. So I think we might be able to get a little advancement off of this. Oh. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well, let's see if we can find people to kill now. I think I've stalled for long enough. Uh, recording has gone on for a half an hour already. Holy crap. This is going to be a long round, I'm guessing. Somebody wants us all to the chapel. And if people are going to be in the chapel, like if they actually listen to him, well, it's a perfect time. <laughs> the chef will be publicly spaced. There's the captain. The HOS is going. Okay. This is a perfect time. Everybody's out of position. To maybe get a free kill. Maybe. I think... Oh, shit. Oh man, that would be te that's tempting, very tempting, but I'm not gonna do it. Ah. Let's head somewhere else. See what we can do. Uh. So here's the here's the part where I forget to talk. <laughs> All right, let's head down. Oh, hello, Ripley. That is going to be a problem later. I think my energy sword will take care of it pretty well, though, so I shouldn't worry about it too much. Let's head east again. Doesn't look like anybody's up up and about that I can kill. Somebody might be in here. I saw a guy moving away, but uh, he wasn't in a very opportune moment position. Let's, gra let's grab some cheesy honkers, eat some of these babies, because I'm hungry. Hunger will murder your fucking ass later. You need to remember to eat, or later you will be slowed down by about half your speed. Be You gotta be very careful about that. You know what? You know what? You know what? Well, nobody's looking. What the hell does weapon vend? Vend's a weapon, dumbass. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> oh. Perfect moment. The HOS is in there. I think I'm gonna try and get him. Fuck. Now oh, the captain's going back. No, nope, not worth it. Heart's beating. 
Alright, that wasn't worth it. Let's see. Is anybody left in the chapel? Nobody. See, it's always hard to start your moment to start getting momentum here. Oh hello. Face fucking dick sucker. With a name like that, he deserved to die, honestly. Anyways, if we can get the RD and stick on a gas mask and masquerade it as him, that'd be really nice. Oh, hey. Oh, I better make sure nobody's in there. Before I, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something about like what happened in Xenobiology, and then hopefully the RD should come running. It might be with a scientist, hopefully not, but I can take care of them. If there's a scientist with him, chances could be that word could get out, but there's no AI to f check what my name is, and, uh, well, you know, <laughs> live and learn. Uh, come on, let me out of here. Whoa. That's weird. Something just electrocuted something, but let's just get out of here. Okay. <laughs> that was an, a spur of the moment decision, and it worked. Whew. That was a close one. I'm sorry, sir. Uh-oh. Uh. Should I disguise? Yep, I'm disguising myself as him. I hope nobody shows up. I'm gonna get out my crossbow, just in case. I'm going to turn out the lights, because you never know. And here is the dangerous part. When I strip down, <laughs> that rat scared the shit out of me. Anybody comes in this fucking door, I'm going to shoot to kill. I can't pick up this energy sword put it in my pocket until I get this jumpsuit on. Stick that in my pocket. Now I'm, I, I'm actually out of breath. This just says what kind of psychology, psychological effect this game has, and it's amazing. Stick this energy gun on my belt. Put on this armor. We're gonna put the disc over here. I don't need that shit and thing. Put the glasses on. Ow, fuck. No, I don't want the glasses. <laughs> that, that's what they do. Now I need to switch this shit out of my backpack. Stick the box in it. Okay. See what we can get out of my backpack. Let's stick that in there. And we are home free. Maybe. Mostly. We need to get a locker. Oh, fuck. 
forgot. Well, for one, we are all bloody. Which is no bueno. No, no bueno. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to remember where there's a shower and where there's a gas mask. Let's see if we can make it into miscellaneous research. Okay. Here's a gas mask. This fits. That's good. I think we're going to kill the RD here. Come on, get the fucking energy sword out. He's not dead. No, oh, wait, yeah, he is. Okay. Okay, fuck hiding the bodies. We're just gonna try and go for a Blitzkrieg here. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, hide in a locker. Hide in a locker. Hide in a locker. Shit! Okay. Whew. We're okay for now. We are safe. They're gonna try and clone them. That's not good. I wish. Okay, cool. The Borg was spaced. So the only real threat here is the head of security. You were in the wrong maintenance hallway, man. So, anyways, once I've started... Once I've killed a good amount, possibly all, of the people on the station, uh, it'll be time to call the shuttle. This is always the most risky part, what I'm doing right now, obviously, because you always have the chance of being killed. Fuck. Okay. Oh, man. Alright. It's time to take off this armor and get some other shit on. Alrighty. Oh, he's got a flashbang, handcuffs, Got some pretty nice shit. Let's put on something that nobody will take us seriously in. And we'll take off this hat. There. Now we really need another backpack. Alright. Now we're here. Good, good. Okay. This is a good thing. Now, we need to close this door, open up this closet, and change backpacks, because somebody's going to recognize this captain's backpack. Alrighty. Oh, shit. That was close. I could have accidentally activated that flashbang and that would have been no good. Like, really no good. Cool. Uh, hmm. Alright, now we need to get to 
the security checkpoint near arrivals. As long as nobody examines us and, find, and sees our ID, we should be... No, 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 no. Let's get on to... Let's get into the HOP's office and grab the spare IDs. This is what we need to do. Nobody knows that Garrett Kiefer is a bad person yet. I don't think... Okay, spare IDs. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. <laughs> this is actually one of my more clever rounds so far. Gotta be careful, though. Talking is really distracting, too. Alright. Basically, we want to rid ourselves of all evidence that we were the captain there. So let's stick that in there. And our name is Garrett Kiefer. The... Oh, where's Captain? Okay, there we go. Scientist. And now, we can be even less suspicious. We'll put this in our backpack, and we'll take off this gas mask, and we're all good. Okay, we are totally undetectable now as of, because they're all looking for the captain, and I am not the captain, obviously. Okay, they're all going to be in science. And I'm going to head back there into the lion's den and scout out the situation. Okay, it's genetics. They're cloning somebody. Okay. I'm going to be really quiet about this. I'm going to stick our ID into this APC. Is there a guy? They're all dead. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna turn off equipment power, and we're gonna turn it back on. We're gonna get this guy. Pull him over here. make this shit into, an, into a monkey. I'm going to turn down the duration and up the intensity. We're going to pulse the shit out of him. Nobody can give us away now. Okay. I'm going to get this locker. Shit. Okay. I'm going to grab this body. Hide it in this locker. And we don't need to grab Nathan Green, because he is unclonable as of now. So we need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty fucking epic round for my first video, I have to, I, I gotta say. It's pretty fucking awesome. I'm actually doing pretty well so far. 
As long as the shuttle is not called, I should be okay to uh, slowly whittle down the population of the station. The HOS left. He has no idea what's going on. I'm going to scout out up here and down here. So maybe this wasn't the best costume to grab, but it was there. Okay, that's set to stun. Oh, I know what we need to do next. We need to de to uh, destroy the Borgs. That's our next problem, is what we need to do. Alright, so they are in robotics. They should be kept busy for long enough to me to get in here and get the hell out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, confirm. 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 Come on! Why did I fucking click on that so much? Okay. Close the damn door. And we're clear. We are clear. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. We need to hide the captain's body. hide that. Oh, I know what we can do. Ah, oh, shit. Never mind. We'll hide it. Uh, that's superficial, considering I left everything else in there, but people are stupid, and not, and a lot of people in here just don't deduce things from things they find on the ground. <sighs> okay. They just called the captain a hero! <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll head to genetics and I'll see what I can do about this guy. Gotta further my good reputation for now. How can I help you? <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. That guy was just strangling him right in front of us. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now they're they're defending the captain? <sighs> well, anyways, the captain is dead guys. Get with the program. <laughs> this is such an awesome round. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be a bitch. What does he want? What does that thing want? Okay, so the HOS is near cargo.
I'm gonna go play dumb. And I'm gonna see if maybe I can get the HOS or somebody to come down there so I can get rid of them. It's a long shot, but maybe. Okay, so I have several options here. I could pretend to find an energy sword here and frame the captain more, and I could try and lure the HOS here. If I frame the captain, I could possibly lose my energy sword, and it but it could give me a chance to get to get close to the HOS without being in danger. Uh You know, I think we're gonna head back and we're gonna get the captain's PDA from this room here. Unless it's in here. Okay, it's in here. There it's in his box. Alright. So we're gonna try and lure the HOS down here. And we'll find out if he has friends. Pretty easily. First we need a locker. So we're going to need a locker. We will down. Okay, we're going to get up. We're going to get some metal. This game's pretty hard sometimes. Material storage, eject five sheets of metal, please. Alright, now let's head back, and I think we're going to use the captain's PDA to message the HOS that he needs to meet us at, uh, in the toxins place there. No, man, okay, for now, I'm going to put a random closet here as a hiding spot in case anything gets really, really bad in the future. Man, I guess we'll just... Oh, there's the HOS, okay. That is generally... not a good person to try and kill when the detective is around, because the detective is sometimes semi-competent. I lure the HOS here. You know, this just might work. I don't have much of a choice other than this for trying to kill the HOS. So let's do it. Fuck it, we're gonna do it.
No, 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 no. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Keep changing my mind, but something's gonna happen, I promise. So let's take this locker and hide ourselves right here. Alright. Says something about telecrystals. It looks like it has had it has three left. I don't want to say it over the radio because all of the little the little little shithead thieves will try to take it. And it's okay. So there's that. I have officially gone through the point of no return. This is where I kill the HOS, or he gets away and knows that there's something up with the captain. If he comes here with a detective, I think I can take them both on. And he just yelled over the radio about what I just told him. And he's going to come and get the PDA. He's not exactly the smartest captain, or the smartest HOS. Alrighty. He's going to come and get it. Or try. I'm not going to read that PDA message that he sent back because I'm going to assume that he's going to come and get it. Okay, I'm going to read it because I'm stupid. Yeah, this is not a smart HOS. Okay, good. He probably isn't that robust. So... <laughs> Just see his reply. Buy me a... <laughs> Buy me a chameleon projector. I love those! Oh my gosh, that's too good. Okay, so... He, he wants me to bring it to his office, but I hope he's going to figure out that I said that I left it there. And, uh, well, he spelled definite, definitely wrong. He spelled, he spelled like D-E-F-I-N-I-T-E-L-Y. So, this is random. This is how I remember to spell it. De, or just the, finite, like small, and then lie, like soap. So I just, I just think the small soap, and that's how I remember how to spell it. While we're <laughs> this is random while we're waiting here, anyways. Hopefully he'll read that PDA message again and figure out that he needs to come and get it. We'll stick this on my belt for now. Oh man, a really nice trap would be to attach a proximity sensor to this flashbang, and then...
<laughs> that's a that's actually a really really good trap that I need to do maybe even this round um, that'd be pretty evil and pretty nice that see that the uh, the HOS is gonna get pretty fucking greedy and he's gonna come down and he's gonna find and he's gonna read that hopefully he's gonna read that PDA again I don't think he'll understand <laughs> that there's that this locker right here in the middle of the hallway has consequences for him going into the to toxin storage. If he brings the detective, this is going to be a lot harder than it needs to be. It's going to be pretty bad. <sighs> well, this here comes probably the the most risky part of this entire expedition, so I got to be careful. If he comes without guards, without anything, I should be fine, and it should be easy enough to take him out. I hope that's what he does. I hope he's that dumb. And you know what? Let's get out this energy sword. Stick it in our hand. Whew. <laughs> He'll be here pretty soon. He's probably bringing the detective. This is not good. It's probably not a smart idea either. But, you know, we'll see. We will see. How long has this been going on? An hour and seven minutes. You guys have a hell of a lot to watch. There's probably nobody left watching at this point. I've just been hiding in a locker talking to myself this whole time. And I told you how to remember how to spell definitely. <laughs> oh, man. So hopefully he'll be here to pick up his chameleon projector. He'll be blended in with the ground soon enough. <laughs> Alright. Should I turn this energy sword on? I don't know. Let's let me find out what the hotkeys are quick. No lock off. Okay. That switches. Nine switches hands, and three turns things on, so that'll help me a lot. <laughs> All right. Let's... Patience is patience is definitely a virtue in Space Station 13. Definitely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow, this might take a while. Oh, I was thinking about admin helping for an objective change, but no. We're going to do this. We're going to try and do it, all, do it all the way. I think what we're going to do is after we take care of the HOS, he'll be the, the last main threat we have to deal with. Then we're going to figure out how to hack doors. Then, ah, oh man. This is the really, really, really hard part. After we figure out how to hack doors, we need to somehow distract the crew from the escape hallway and get onto the emergency shuttle, hack the doors closed, and get in. Okay, this guy really needs to get here. Well. <laughs> um, I might tell you, I might put a little annotation on the video or something to tell you that he gets here at like so and so and so and so. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay. Ugh, 
just you and me. Kind of need to go to the bathroom right now. Kind of don't care. He'll be here to pick up the, the PDA. This is what it takes. You got a plot in Space Station 13. Got to be a regular conniving little shit. Oh, I should have put the syndicate soap on the inside of the door. Did I tell him it was toxin storage? <sighs> now, if the shuttle gets called, this is definitely going to put a hole in our plans. Okay, all right. I'm gonna make that lowercase to. Oh, there he is! There he is! Shit! Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. I wish they couldn't talk. But, uh... We'll get into virology. Get that hat off. Okay, he's dead. The major threats are mostly dead. This does not make... This does not put me in the clear, because a bunch of fucking vigilantes are going to be all over my ass. I need to... Oh, man. i got to get some armor on. And I need to get a gas mask on. It's a stun baton. I could use that. Stick that on my backpack. This guy's really un under equipped. Stick this on my belt. I think playtime's over here. Uh, let's get let's get his gas mask on. probably a really really bad idea oh man fuck this is where my hunger is gonna screw me over big 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 time like really really big time because right now my hunger is so bad that Attention. New command. I need created. shit stick my ID in my backpack get it out take off this pirate coat and we got to get something to eat okay really right now it it's i need to clean up the rest of the security force and then well then i don't know what i'm going to do Alright, so they're fine they've found the blood in virology. And they're gonna start and they're gonna clone him. I'm really, really hungry right now. Alright. 
I know what we need to do. <sighs> Alright, let's see if we can get into genetics. Alright, actually, let's go back to the security. First, let's eat some more food. We need to get a new ID. I am not, I cannot be Garrett Kiefer anymore. They've caught on to me and all that, so. Alright, I don't need this stun baton. It's probably a really bad idea to drop it, but, uh, we'll see. Let's do Jerry... Jerry... <sighs> Tell Riker, I know that name. And we are an assistant. <laughs> uh, cannibal Cr or, I think it's Cannibal Crow. No, Toxed. His name is Toxid, or Tox. And uh, he would not be... Uh, he would not be happy to know I'm, I've stolen his name. Okay, we're going to keep this jumpsuit on. Okay, we are now Tellriker, the assistant. They've got my name, which is bad. Why am I so slow? <sighs> Alright, now Kane is rogue. I guess I can't do that. <laughs> I guess you can't do that. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. I'm trying to be safe, but on the other hand, I need to stop them from cloning the HOS. I don't know.
Okay. Got him. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Perfect! That was awesome. Okay. That was great. We gotta be... That, that was amazing. That was like... Super awesome amazing. And this gun is self-recharging, which is also amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is going really, really well. I, I, I'm, I'm very surprised. Let's take this, let, let's avoid suspicion. Take this guy's body. I'll stick it in this locker. <laughs> okay, all right. We have definitely we are definitely on a roll here. This is all really, really risky, but uh, it's paying off really well. We need to take out more of the key threats, and we'll see. Murder this asshole. He's gasping. I mean, I think we can take on the warden. We have sunglasses on. We do not. Let's grab ourselves some sunglasses. And a flash. Why not? We we'll got a flash. Okay, we've made a lot of fucking progress so far. It's really amazing. Actually, n no flash. We'll get a stun baton back, though. So no HUDs. Another energy gun. Always good. Is that a flamethrower? I need... Oh, I know what I need. I need some fucking armor. Oh, I hate right-clicking in this game. I hate it. Okay. 
Is that? So we need to walk past it. We need to get ourselves some fucking sunglasses. Because after all this, if we get stopped by a flash, well... Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Stick another energy gun on our belt here. Activate that flash as we go by. It doesn't do us any harm. Nobody is going to have any protection against us as far as I know now. There might be a couple of security officers left, but right now it's time for cleanup. Oh man, how do you make Hyperzine? Okay, he is brain dead. Sugar, potassium, phosphorus? Sugar something. kill him. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Alright, we're done here. we continue at this pace, we should have enough people dead to call the shuttle soon. Is there anybody else? Let's kill this asshole. See, I can just do it right out in the open now. It doesn't matter. Ah, poor Ian. <laughs> okay. This is amazing. Oh, shit. There's Beepski. Let's shoot this asshole a couple more times. I don't think beep skill. Oh, okay, he's dead. Let's 
go check on the singularity. Make sure that fucking thing is not getting loose. We'll grab some insulated gloves, and we'll learn how to hack doors quick. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it. Oh well. I think we can go around this way. Hopefully. Yep, we can. Okay, good. Stick some insulated gloves on. learn how to hack doors, and let's grab some metal. Shit. We gotta make some room. Can't get rid of any of my guns. I need those. I need those. That's... Oh, I need the multi-tool. Okay. Bottom wires are the check timing mechanism. Second wire up is the test light. Third wire, fourth wire, fifth wire, sixth wire. Top. Okay. Second wire down is the door bolts. So, second wire down, cut all the wires. Okay. Alright, and then... We need to uh, head out here. We'll stick some preliminary walls around escape. All right, nobody's here. Good. All right, it's only ten plasteel, so I got to be careful with what I use this for. Two and three. <laughs> I realize that my style is in this game is definitely far, far different from maybe Plump Helmet Punk's style, where he role plays a lot and all that. Well, I'm a traitor. This is really the only way. I oh, I need a CMO jumpsuit. Okay, I'm glad I remembered that. Alrighty, let's make ourselves a reinforced wall here. Let's build our wall girders. Alright, we'll finalize it. And finish the wall. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Somebody had the right idea, welding the doors. Let's... what was I going to do? Oh yeah, CMO's jumpsuit. Duh. Make sure nobody's being cloned quick. Where's the CMO's office? Let's head in here. Open up his locker.
Let's get that shuttle called. That guy might be a problem. The janitor. The emergency shuttle has been called. That fucking asshole janitor. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's good. That was funny. I gotta admit, Mr. Janitor Man, that was pretty funny. But you're gonna die for that. Well, unless you don't. So we gotta get over here. Damn it, Patrick O'Malley. <laughs> Sorry for forgetting to talk. But uh, you get caught up in the moment. It's so beautiful! <laughs> Murdering people! Let's turn off the bolts. Cut all the wires. these doors because I can and we will hack this door shut cut all the wires and I think we should in theory, be home free. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how long this... Holy crap! Uh, it's probably some serious auto audio desync. Oh well. An hour and 40 minutes. Longest recording everywhere. Any, any, ever. Ever. <clears throat> Alright, now we have six minutes and 30 seconds to wait. Uh, I'm not sure whether I should stop stop the recording here. I don't think I will. You're just gonna have to wait with me for six minutes. Six minutes, twenty seconds, till the shuttle gets here. Then you need to wait five minutes for it to leave and then get there. So, uh, yeah. I would suggest skipping about ten minutes ahead if you don't want to see all this shit. There might be a little bit of a power struggle trying to, people trying to get on the shuttle because they want to escape and stuff, you know. They don't want to be left on a station or anything. But, uh, Oh well, for them. Because this is my show. Mine. Yes. Anyways, um, I actually think I'll pause it for like 
a minute while I go and run to the bathroom. It's not like you're going to miss anything. Nobody can get through those doors in a minute. Nobody. Okay. I will be right back. Okay. And we're back. And who the hell is Kenny Goofball? And where the hell is he? I gotta pause it quick. So this Kenny Goofball guy seems to be breaking all of the windows. That goofball. <laughs> Alrighty. He's he's doing it again. He's doing it again. I keep pausing it because somebody just got home and they're probably gonna barge right into my room. Anyways, we have, uh-oh, what, what, <laughs> what are they saying in OOC? Oh god, why? And then, yes, said Kong's ultimate weapon. Oh well, guess we'll have to see. Okay, one second. Okay, parents don't understand video games, ever. Especially multiplayer ones. And especially Space Station 13. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, two minutes till the shuttle gets here and we get to leave. Nobody's tried to get in yet. Or to escape. Hopefully everybody's just getting on the... On the, um... The escape pods. Uh, this turned out definitely, definitely better than I expected. Um, I'm not going to expect you guys to watch the entire fucking thing, because it's long as hell, but anyways, it's <laughs> it's definitely one of the rounds I want to add on my uh, infamous rounds of in history, famous, the, the ones that I go to school and tell to my friends who have no idea what I'm talking about kind of rounds, because it was definitely amazing. Oh, wait a minute. Check the lockers. Always check the lockers. One minute, ten seconds. I get the feeling that something's just gonna come around and murder me. Just like, destroy me. <laughs> Alrighty. 45 seconds. Time, it seems like it's going so slow because now I gotta watch and make sure nobody gets on. Let's grab our toolbox in anticipation of uh, people that are gonna try and board the shuttle. I'm gonna pause it quick one sec. Okay, I'm back. And uh, like I said, parents have no idea about video games ever. Anyways. Let's s unscrew this door, just in case somebody makes it through. And bolt it. This is a nice ride. I want it all to myself. open up this door. Hopefully this recording will be okay with Camtasia. I've paused several, several times. Let's get out our gun, just to be safe. And in 30 seconds, we're going to be home free. 9, 27, 26. Not going to count. 
What are in these? What's in these emergency nanomed things? Bruise packs, ointments, syringes, and health analyzers. Okay, we're home free. I forgot to buckle in, but that's okay. <laughs> I win. I really hope you guys can see my mouse here. Cuz that 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 it's kind of an integral part of Space Station 13, really important for the experience, I think. Anyways, this was a 1 hour 47 minute recording. Longest I've ever done so far. The audio desync is going to be fucking insane, I know it. But oh well. Uh, I remember Plunk, Plump Helmet Punk did a, a 6 hour video of Princess Maker 2, which was hilarious. Let's buckle ourselves in. I'm going to come out guns blazing at CENTCOM. Let's grab ourselves guns. No, no, no. We're going to have to keep a hand free to unbuckle ourselves. Fifteen seconds. Like I said, time passes slowly when you're waiting, not doing anything. Or watching the clock, that is. Five, four, three, two, one. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this Space Station 13 video. And I will see you guys next time.